talking about psoriasis and some uh, uh, the outbreak of this disease, previous presentation, um, and how we can prevent it. So we're going to go through this control. So first up, the epidemiology, we have a sweet uh, diagram that tells us how we can contract it and all the different stages. So the mosquito takes in the blood meal, takes in the in really a larvae stage, and then as it grows into an adult, uh, it moves in through our bloodstream and can start infecting us. And there's different species of mosquitoes that are the vector for this, and so um, the most important part is it starts out in a larvae, and then as it infects a mosquito, it turns into like a mi microfilari, and then that can grow in our bloodstream in humans, and that's where it affects us uh, the most. And then up next, we have the geography of it and those areas that are most at risk. So as you can see on this map, the highest risk areas are those tropical to like subtropical climates place with a lot of rivers, water, places where those like species thrive. Um, yeah, where, where they thrive. There are about seven, 72 uh, countries that are really at risk with about 120 or, or so a million people at risk. And we don't have it in the, in the US, so we are safe here, but say we go on like a trip or vacation to these rural, and like more uh, developing countries, then we would be at risk for it. So let's get into a little bit of the history. Patrick Mason is your guy. He's important when we're talking about filariasis and this emerging disease. So in 1877, he discovered the microfilari in people's peripheral blood at night. Uh, and that was pretty important because back then, uh, they hadn't ever discovered that a parasite or a worm can infect mosquitoes, which in turn can infect us. And so that was a big breakthrough uh, back then. And Sir Patrick Mason figured that out by walking around um, in these parts at night. And that's how you actually can diagnose, diagnose it, is you can take blood from these people and you can see the worms uh, only at night. And so that's kind of cool with this filariasis disease. But that's kind of the history and the background of this. All right, up next is how to contract it and then, to, and then the ways to try to treat that. So there are, there, there is an acute and a chronic stage to it. In the acute, there's just the worms going to the lymph and it just infects it there. Swelling causes of like itching or uh, pain. And then, but then in the chronic stage is, is where those uh, microfilari grow up to be adult worms, and then that is where they are able to live for five to seven years in the lymph of the humans, which, which is known to cause major swelling, a lot of pain, a lot of, dis, a lot of discomfort. And then how to try to treat it is once it goes to the chronic stage, there isn't really like a, a set cure you can try to get a, a yearly dose of, uh, of a medicine, and then that will be able to stop the transmission to other mosquitoes, therefore making you not be able to transmit it to other humans in turn. And then there's also a surgery that you, that you can get done to try to reduce the amount of like, of just fluid inside these swelling areas, which will help with the, uh, pain, but there's no set cure for it. And then it's all about the control and prevention. And that's kind of hard to do because in these specific areas, like we talked about, it's a lot of rural and developing countries where there's a lot of the mosquito species. And so mosquito control is really the biggest thing. And then for us as humans walking around trying to have repellent, uh, trying to wear long sleeves when we're in, when we're in these areas where there's a lot of mosquitoes, as well as lots of these specific areas start fires and have smoke that eliminate lots of the mosquitoes at night because as we know, mosquitoes like to blood feed from dusk to dawn, and so that's kind of tricky. So avoiding bites um, 
And if you are in these specific areas, putting up screens and over the windows, um, but like we said, that's, that's a little bit hard to do. And so mosquito control is all we can really do. And once you're at kind of the chronic phase, um, like Mason said, surgery and this, this stuff to, cause it affects your legs and arms and genitalia and it makes it really hard, but mosquito control is the number one thing. And that is it. Thank you.